In this video, I'll show you a quick easy DIY early warning system for the sump pump in your house. This can prevent thousands in flood damage to your house and anyone can and must do this. Fracking Creations, a YouTube variety channel that touches different parts of your life. Want more videos on DIY? Subscribe to the channel or check out our website. To get started, let's first quickly go over what a sump pump and sump pit are and what they are for. For houses that have a basement, oftentimes you will find a sump pit with a sump pump in it. A sump pit is a tank or a pit installed at the lowest point of the house and it is used to collect water. The sump pump inside is just a water pump that pumps water out of the sump pit. There will also be a flow activator that will turn the sump pump on or off automatically as needed when the water reaches a certain level. Usually the sump pit is closed at the top by a removable cover that is screwed on. The reason you need these is that when there is water around your house's foundation, for example when it rains or when snow melts in the spring, the water has to go somewhere. Some will flow away from your house onto the street, while the rest will seep into the ground around your house. The water that seeps into the ground around and under the foundation can end up entering the house if it builds up and has nowhere to go. This is where the sump system comes in. A series of underground drain pipes run around the foundation of the house that allows the buildup of water around the foundation to drain into. These series of pipes drain into the sump pit for the sump pump to pump out of your house. Most of the time, you don't have to deal with your sump pump because it is working as expected. When the water reaches a certain level in the sump pit, the sump pump automatically turns on and pumps the water out of the pit. It's when it doesn't work that big problems can result and thousands of dollars of damage can occur. Here are three common reasons for sump pumps to not run as expected. The first reason the sump pump doesn't run is because it fails or breaks down. I remember a friend had his basement flood when it was raining hard while we were all partying upstairs. His sump pump had stopped working and two inches of water had flooded the basement from the sump pit before he found out. They ended up having to rip out all the drywall and have it all replaced. The second reason is a tripped circuit breaker. If for whatever reason the circuit breaker for the power outlet that the sump pump is connected to is tripped and you didn't know, the sump pump won't run when it needs to. The third reason is a power outage. Recently we had a power outage and it had been raining the night before and was still raining the next day. Without power, the sump pump could not turn on. As a result, the water level was rising in the sump pit and we didn't even know. But luckily, we had an early warning system that went off and allowed us to take care of the situation before the basement started flooding with water. This early warning system is easy to set up, so let's go over how to do this. I learned this simple DIY from my dad and I think that everyone should have this installed too. Here we have a water alarm and it's worth the money you spend on it. It only needs to save you once to be worth it. How does it work? When the two contacts of the water alarm come in contact with water, the alarm will be triggered. In this case, by a very loud alarm that we could even hear from the second floor of the house. You want to buy one like this where the contacts can be detached and also have an extension wire. Then all you do is dangle the contact plate to a height in the sump pit where you want to be warned. This should be higher than where the sump pump would normally turn on but lower than the top of the sump pit because you want to give yourself time to react before the water starts overflowing out. Once installed, the next time your sump pump decides to take a vacation, you will be warned and you can take action right away. And for those of you that want a fancier alarm and one that can warn you while you're not at home, smart water detectors are also available. These will warn you by push notification to your smartphone. Find a link to these alarms in the video description below. Now that you have an early warning system, what do you do if your sump pump one day stops working and you get an alarm notification? As basic as it is, use a bucket and scoop. You can easily use these to scoop the water out and dump it in the toilet after. Make sure not to fill the bucket to the top because you don't want the water spilling out when you're carrying it to the washroom. A bucket with a handle can make things easier and also one that folds away like this is great because it can be kept handy and ready to use without taking much space. As a bonus for watching to the end of our video, here are some other tips. Some sump pumps have two wires plugged into the outlet. One is for the sump pump and the other is for the float activator. If at any point in time the sump pump doesn't turn on when it's supposed to, unplug it from the float activator plug 
and plug it directly into the outlet to see if the problem is the activator or the sump pump. Make sure to test your sump pump float activator and water alarm at least once a year to make sure the system is working properly. Also, don't let the water level go too low when the sump pump is being tested. If not enough water is going through the pump, it could overheat and get damaged. We hope this video was useful to you and saves you from a flooding basement in the future. If you enjoyed it, please share it with one person it will help and subscribe to our channel. We want to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. Thanks for your support.